I went to class also to pick up few things, and while I was there, I saw that this 20,000 million power power bank was on sale. I thought it would be have nice to have a large power bank, so I bought one. This has micro USB input and two USB outputs. Like usually, this one has different currents marked for each port, but in reality, both of those ports can output the same current. The difference is only in how the data lines have been connected. And then there is the power button. Clicking it turns on the outputs and the battery status indicator, which is made out of four LEDs. Outputs can be switched off by holding the power button down for a few seconds. I made sure the battery was full and connected about 2 amp constant current load to the output with this USB power monitor in line. Note that voltage drop is caused by power monitor's low quality connector. The actual voltage stays above 5 volts at 2 amp load. This thing can record the milliamp hours and retain that value even after power has been disconnected. I waited until the output switched off and disconnected everything. Now I have recharged the power bank a little bit so I can power it up in this video. And it is time to check how many milliamp hours this was able to output. Almost 14,000 milliamp hours. The boost converter must be quite efficient because that isn't far from ideal 14,800 milliamp hours. The output stay on even at very small current. This can also power things while being charged, which is really useful thing. Things I like about this power bank are build quality. This thing is built like a tank. Battery capacity, which matches the advertised value. And the ability to power low power devices, which is good for us who are playing with electronics. Long charging time is only thing I don't like about this, but to shorten that, the input couldn't be just regular 5V micro USB port. It would be appreciated if you could like this video, maybe leave your thoughts on the comment section, and subscribe if you haven't already.